The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip Daiquiri and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832-213-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. And welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. And thank you for joining in with us on today. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at The Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website, obnradio.com. And our 24-hour dial-in message line, 713-570-6736. Without any further delay, we'll jump right into today's episode. Well, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the news has been heard throughout the land. Eric Dooley has taken his services back to Southern University where he will begin his new journey there. Now the question is, how will Prairie View pick up the pieces? In what direction will they go? Plenty of names have been flowing. Kevin Sumlin, one of the names to be flowing around. Many other names, but as for right now, Bubba McDowell has been named the interim coach for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers by Athletic Director Dr. Donald Reed. Recruiting is not going to stop, so the Panthers will have to stay on the recruiting trail. They will have to get a replacement real soon. And guess what? Time is not going to stop for no one. So with all of that being said, you can spend a bunch of time wondering about the woulda, coulda, shouldas. If that could have happened or if this had to happen, we wouldn't be in the situation that we have. None of that matters. You have what you have, therefore you must deal with what you must deal with. But let me be on record for saying this, that whomever the next coach will be for the Panthers, it is going to be imperative that PV Nation does its part. And when I say PV Nation doing its part, more than just complaining about what you like, what you don't like, but actually coming out to support, actually coming out to enhance your program. If you don't like the coach that's selected, okay, you might not have been your choice, but it's still your program. If you don't know the coach that's selected, okay, still, might not have been a person that you know of, but it's still up to you to support your program. And until you address that issue, there is nothing really to focus on. Because whether Eric Dooley stays or leaves, it shows on PV Nation when you only have 474 people show up for senior day that's not on coaching that's on a fan base and if the truth be told that's not even a fan base that's a spectators base because a fan base shows up to support the program win lose or draw hot cold rain or shine you show up and support your program so you can have the greatest facilities you can have the greatest budgets, you can have the greatest atmosphere, but until you come out and show up, you are depleting your own product. So PV Nation, rally around yourselves. This too shall pass, but you gotta look at the man in the mirror. And the man in the mirror says that we got some work to do. And if we're going to be about the business of PV Nation, then let us move forward. I personally believe in the brand. And I know we can do better if we choose to do better. So, with that being said, if you are going to be involved, 
with the process of the culture selection. And you might not even be uh, a chipper about the current athletic director, but it's still your program. Support your program. And when you do that, a whole lot better can come out of the situation than bad. It's just a simple, simple approach. Very simple approach. Meanwhile, we got a celebration bowl coming up. Jackson State taking on South Carolina State. Who do you think will win? You think Jackson State got enough to bring it home for the SWAT? I do. And I'm a SWAT guy. And I'm a ride with it until the wheels fall off. So we got a lot more to talk about. And I want to give a congratulations to the Texas Southern Tigers men's basketball program. Taking it to Florida on last night. Coming up with a big win. Big win for Coach Johnny Jones. We'll be breaking down the hardwood in more detail with Coach Van Petaway and myself as we get ready to get closer to the tip-off of regular season action in SWAC basketball. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on the Eric Dooley regime. He did go 20 and 17. He did bring a Western Division title. That was the first time since 2009. So my question of the day is this. Do you believe that Eric Dooley left the program in better shape than he inherited? Give us a call, 713-570-6736, or you can leave your comments on the YouTube channel or send me a text or an email. But that number for your voicemail is 713-570-6736. Prairie View, back at the drawing board. Who will be the next one to lead the way? We shall find out real soon. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Follow me on Twitter at The Mike Prince Show and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Open Mic Broadcast Network. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.